Good evening. It was a rare show of unity in the National Assembly. All parties unanimously supported a motion condemning the anti-Semitic vandalism in an NDG parking garage Monday night. Four cars were spray-painted with red swastikas. An envelope containing a bullet and a threatening note was left on a windshield. And now, Montreal police are investigating yet another disturbing incident. The website of the suburban newspaper was hacked with an anti-Israel message posted on the home page. Maya Johnson reports. Premier Philippe Couillard made the rare move of speaking in English in the National Assembly to condemn an incident police labeled a hate crime. We can only denounce these acts of vandalism which reflect prejudice and intolerance. I wish to reassure the public that we will not tolerate that Quebecers be subject to threats because of their origins or their religious beliefs. This was the scene at an NDG apartment building Monday night. Four cars spray-painted with swastikas, a bullet and a threatening note left in an envelope on one of the windshields. The speech comes on the same day as the suburban newspaper is dealing with its own disturbing incident. The paper is well known as a staunch defender of Israel. And this morning, the newspaper's website was hacked. A white Phantom of the Opera type mask with blood flowing from the eyes, white Phantom of the Opera hands with blood on the hands, um, all about the, the, whoever it is is pro-Gaza, anti-Israel. The Suburban's website was restored within a few hours. Montreal police are investigating. And it's not the first time, because it's not the first time the newspaper has been threatened. One of the messages read, you have nowhere to run to anymore. The other read, we're going to get you, you bleeping rats. I won't use the other expressions. And the third, which was rather personal, we're going to turn you into a soap. And on the back of that one, the person had pasted a copy of an ISIS death group. This IT consultant says the hacking of the website doesn't appear to have been very sophisticated. And with these automated tools, you don't have to be a pro because all the work is done for you in this tool. It's basically point and shoot. Regardless of who was behind it, Wiseman says what happened to the Suburban's website won't intimidate him or his staff. On a day where all members of the National Assembly said the same thing. Maya Johnson, CTV News.